everyone. Welcome to the Movie Salon for July of 2018. Our Canadian film for Monday, July the 23rd is called Men with Brooms. Uh, this is about four friends who played, cur who did curling together. Curling is that sport where they slide the rock on the ice. And uh, they were, when they were young, they, they had a very successful curling team, but as they got older, they drifted apart. And when their ex-coach dies, his dying wish is for them to get back together and win the championship. So they do that, and they become men with brooms. Ladies and gentlemen, we are curling. Each team has eight rocks. Each guy throws two. Whoever's closer, that team scores. What the heck are all the brooms for? You can kind of steer a block of granite down 146 feet of ice and land it on an area the size of a tournament. Good to see you. And only one man. Come on. Give me a hand. What are you doing? I'm rubbing you. No, sweet can get them in the game. They've got three weeks. And ready to curl. Be aggressive, and we will be hard-headed about this. Now, they've got one last shot to sweep the nation. Paul Gross, Molly Parker, and Leslie Nielsen. Let's go. They're not men in black. They're not men of honor. They're men with brooms. Out of my form. Then our university film for Friday, July the 27th is called Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. This is about two university students, uh, one of Asian descent, one of Indian descent, who um, are studying one night but also smoking marijuana and uh, they decide that they are hungry and they want to go to White Castle. But many, many things happen on their way to White Castle, so it's kind of an adventure. Forget White Castle, let's go get some strippers. So you think this is just about the burgers, huh? It's about far more than that. This night is about the American dream. Who wants the food? New Line Cinema presents That Asian Guy from American Pie. Did you Patrick Harris? Just steal my car. Yes. And that Indian guy from Van Wilder. Thank God I found you. We have an emergency. Do you happen to know how to get to the White Castle? Yeah. Why? Why? From that white guy who directed... Dude, where's my car? Where's his car, dude? Thank you! Come again! It's just finally starting to go our way. Yeah! Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. And then our last Canadian film... For, Friday, for Monday, July the 30th, is called The Whole Nine Yards. I know you're seeing Bruce Willis there, he's not Canadian. But this is about um, a man, um, Matthew Perry from Friends, who is Canadian, from Ottawa. Uh, he's living in Montreal with his wife when he no discovers that the man who just moved in next door is an infamous American gangster. Uh, so he is very nervous and afraid, and, and lots of things happen because of this gangster living next door to them in Montreal. Jimmy Tedeschi's new fans are hitting on him. I'm one of your biggest fans. I've been following your career since I was a kid. She has definite potential. What? I've been wanting to meet you for years. <laughs> but one of them is hitting a little too close to home. I got into him. This is Cynthia. Jimmy's vibe. Us, we're friends. Friends do not engage in sexual congress with each other's wives. <laughs> Have you bombed it recently? A minute ago. I was just going to brush my teeth. Oh, wait. Okay. You were right about him. This is one exceedingly sweet man. I can't think of nothing finer than a fine naked woman holding a gun. Bruce Willis. It's not important how many people I've killed. What's important is how I get along with the people that are still alive. Matthew Perry. He's a little upset. <coughs> I've managed to upset a mass murderer. Aren't you going to cry for him? Oh, did you any good? No. Time to rock and roll? In their world. They're going to kill you. What? Being yourself. Nobody moves. Could get you killed. The whole nine yards. Oh, <laughs>